poor fitting accounts for a significant percentage of bearing failures. Often small bearings are fitted on cylindrical shafts using mechanical methods. However, as bearings get larger, then mechanical methods can no longer be used. This is why heat is used to expand the bearing in a ring before placing on the shaft. As the bearing cools, a stronger interference fit results. Direct flame should never be used as the bearing can be damaged. Oil baths were once popular, but can be slow, dirty, and present significant handling hazards. Using an SKF induction heater, safe, efficient, and effective bearing heating can easily be accomplished. Choose the appropriate yoke for the bearing to be heated, and just place the bearing on the yoke. Better still, if there is space around the coil, then place the bearing here for even higher efficiency. SKF heaters have built-in adjustable support legs to make this option really easy. Place the bearing on the heater and then place the temperature probe on the bearing in a ring. Press the start button on the remote control and the bearing starts heating. The preset temperature is 110 degrees Celsius, but you can also choose the temperature you want. When the bearing reaches the required temperature, then a warning beep sounds. The heater stops and the bearing is automatically demagnetized. Wearing SKF heat-resistant gloves, remove the bearing from the heater and place on the shaft. As the bearing cools, then a strong interference fit results. Just apply lubrication and the bearing is ready to run. SKF offers a comprehensive range of induction heaters for bearings both big and small, as well as for components such as gear wheels. For ease of use, the larger heaters have sliding or rotating yokes. The heater selection chart gives a good indication of what heater suits your heating requirements and can be found via skf.com. Heating bearings and similar components is safe, easy and efficient when you use SKF induction heaters. For more information, contact your local SKF authorized distributor.